Okay, I'm working on my recovery mower again, which has made quite a bit of progress from last time, which I'll show you in a second. Got several things done since I've got some pipes cut and wire brushed so I can start the bumper. I have the input pulley all welded up right here. My welder's actually working correctly right now so I can get some good beads on stuff, so that's good. But um, a problem before was with this pulley right here. The f place I bought it from, they, this is a 5 8 bore pulley, but it wasn't. So brought this thing to the shop at school and used a Dremel and made the inside a little bit bigger and fits correctly now. So that's good. But I also did a little bit of work on my brother's mower. So that thing is up and running and ready to go. So that should be good to see how it actually does had many pro problems with it already but I guess for now I'm gonna start mounting this transmission and welding up the bumper I think I could get this thing going within the next week or so if I once I like order a brake handle for a bike okay I've got this all ready to weld I got these pre cut and stuff this welding helmet I gotta say it's not really the warmest thing right now because right now it's about seven six to seven degrees out here but I really want to get this thing started so well and be a little bit cold for this. I want to see this thing go. Things all tacked on, so well, this one, this whole brace, which will also strengthen the frame a little bit. Looks pretty level. Again. On some of these, I plan on using square tubing later, but I'm supposed to be picking up about, I think it's like one and a half inch square tube in Monday. So I should make my bumper a little better because. All I have for, for now is some, lots of piping off, out of my scrap pile, but got that beater in there and I'll just do that to the other side and attach this thing and I'll start working on the transmission some. Okay. Now the bumper's starting to take shape. It really doesn't, it's not, doesn't really look level right now, but it is. The problem is that this arm right this little the front axle it's supposed to pivot and as this thing was sitting out in the woods for several years years before i got it it's kind of rusted at the angle it was parked on because it was on a slope so i have to free that up but right now i must cut out a corner of a pipe real quick because i'm gonna have a little point coming out from here to help shove stuff down but i don't try and keep too much of an angle because I do like to ram into stuff so sticking out too much and I'll probably bend just bend stuff so okay, be I'm gonna put this thing in here at this angle so that it'll help me shove off little ledges that I just can't get my front tires over which will be better than just a flat bobble because I'll just press against stuff and this help slide it upwards and it'll just help shove brush with the like triangle point shove it towards where it'll just go under the tires instead of shoving under the frame. I think it should hold it. If I can get this back well. Well, it's hard to see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to 
get the others. So I don't probably hold, but you can see what it's going to look like. So I think that'll help get stuff down. I just like the look of it too. Don't really have anything like this yet, so you see how it does. Okay, it's another day right now, but I've continued the work a little bit on this thing. I did some oh, a few things off camera, like um, I've added this pulley to the top, so when my battery set or something, this battery actually does work. It's getting charged right now because it's low, but add this wing nut. The bumper is pretty much finished. And another good thing, that sounds pretty nice, I've had it running for like a few minutes, but I got both sides straight pipe now. For this, for the bigger pipe, I had to cut lots of slits into the, I think, one and a half inch pipe and crimp it down a little bit before I weld it so it'd fit, but you can see that goes on both sides and empties out just like right under the floorboard. I'm not going to be able... I'm not sure if you can see or not. You probably can. How it does dumps right there. I might lower it, cut off it a little bit shorter so it don't catch on things. But I have the seat welded solid now so it won't be falling off. And I've tacked the dashboard together. So I was going to put on the transmission last night, but ran into another issue. I thought these bolts were the right size, but they're the correct length. But they're not they're too wide they will not fit through the holes in the transmission so I had to get these on so guess all there is now is to put these on just came back from the store so I got springs for the seat to replace the old ones because they're so hard it's like you don't even have any a feeler gauge to fix my brother's mower because its valves are a little bit off so it don't run very well and keyways to hold the tires and these to, for the hood pins but another thing I forgot to mention is on here there was a, this thing was on the bottom part of that which was just extra like inch of ground clearance that wasn't needed so I okay, cut I that off. I'd show you how the engine sounds with the new pipes on it real quick before I continue with the transmission so because I I guess the battery is good for now, so this is what it sounds like if you can hear it well. I think it sounds pretty decent for now, but I'm still going to have to do some idle adjustment to it because it's still having a little bit of problems revving up higher. Okay, I've pretty much finished for the night with this thing. I've made quite a bit of progress. That's what it looks like right now. It's with the hood on. I mean, the hood's not bolted to it yet, but right now I attached the transmission with the wheels and got all the spacers made. I had to cut some piping for that because I lost the originals. But I had to put slime in the front tires, not because of because they're leaking air, but not because of my cutting. They just had the sidewall cracks. And so what it looks like so far, all I really have to do is hook up the clutch, the foot throttle, and find a belt. I'm, I mean, I'm also going to add a skid plate but it's going to be a little later on. I'm going to shop tomorrow at school, so I'm going to be building me a four-wheeler like ATV rack to put on here. So I'm going to have it probably come out to back here with little edgings and set up to hold on gas tanks, chains, and whatever else I need to pull things back. Probably a toolbox, too, because I am making this thing to retrieve broken stuff. Well... Hope you enjoyed seeing the build of this thing and rate, comment, subscribe to see.